if you use a car cover and it looks like this you're making a big mistake hi i'm pramit your go to person for all the detailing related questions i know i know i was missing for a long time but what matters is i'm back now for those of you who are not blessed with a covered car park the next best thing to protect your car against dust or tree sap sun rain etc would be a car cover now if you use your car cover properly only then it is going to be a blessing otherwise it can actually damage your paint so how is it going to damage your paint well there are two ways to cover and uncover your car systematic way and an unsystematic way well if you cover or uncover your car unsystematically it will what i showed you earlier where the car cover is lying in your boot as a blob of cloth well that is an unsystematic way let me explain Finally done and my hands are super dirty you see that is the unsystematic way of covering your car you saw how i was dragging the cover all the sides and that is exactly the problem that is going to sort of abrade the paint and it is going to cause the paint to blemish you may not see it with the first time or the second time but regular usage of the cover is going to do this now obviously the systematic way of removing the cover is very different okay so what i'm going to do is approach it from the side i'm going to lift the side put it on top and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then gently roll the entire cover okay now you'll notice that the abrasion that is caused by moving the cover around is far less so watch Now notice how the dirty part of the cover actually remains inside and it does not make the inside part of the cover dirty. Now the only thing that is left is to gently roll away the cover. and that is how you uncover the car systematically now to cover the car again in a systematic way all you have to do is retrace the steps of all that i just did so you you keep the cover at the back you roll the cover forward you open the side and voila the car is covered and you have caused the least amount of abrasion that means no damage done to the paint so at this point i want to give you a couple of tips to make this process even better one Make sure you use the cover only on a clean car because otherwise you're going to dirty the cover as well and it just makes the process completely redundant. Two, whenever you're going to uncover your car, first use a duster and clean the cover. Otherwise, all the debris is going to be saturated in the cover and it is going to weigh your car down and it will give you less mileage. So here is a myth that a car cover does not make your car wet. Now let's understand it is not the rain that gets inside your cover and wet the car it's actually the condensation that happens on the inside that makes your car wet so next time you get a car cover get a good quality one it is definitely going to help you but 
make sure your expectation is right when it comes to what a car cover can do and cannot and use the tips which i have shared with you to keep your car paint in a better condition so for those of you who have been using a car cover very regularly go check your car let me know if you have any blemishes anywhere on your paint if there are take it to a detailer they'll be able to correct it and if you liked the content in this video to think it was useful do hit the subscribe button because we are coming out with a lot more to help you maintain your car better until next time bye bye